Okay. All right. You want to uh, do roll call? Absolutely. So I have Andy present, Jake present, Richard present, Selena present, David present, and Aaron present as voting members. So we have a quorum. And I have Donald, Mike, Jake, and Tina as visitors. All right. Thank you. Um, has everybody had a chance to review the minutes from last meeting in April? Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Second. Again, my name. All in favor say aye. 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 June 12th meeting, not April. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Public comment. Have we received any uh, public comment? No, no public comment. Secretary's report. All right. Uh, as of last month, there was 280 properties currently blighted on the blighted property list. Uh, 50 of those properties are under control of the Redevelopment Authority of the City of Erie or the Erie Land Bank. Uh, and as you can see further on in the agenda, we have several of those who will be having a rescission of blight. Uh, so we're continuing to work through those uh, and we'll continue to, to remediate those. And I, I'm going to work on some more information for the committee uh, next month as far as how many are under relinquishment agreements and, and such like that. So hopefully I'll have that for you next month. If not, it'll be the following month, but just to kind of give you a, a full overview of, of to what extent we're working with the, the blighted property owners in an effort to, to mitigate the blight. So that's my report. Thank you, Aaron. Has the board received any correspondence? No correspondence. All right, old business um, rescission of blight. First up, uh, this was a private rehab. We have 817 Ash Street. 816? Uh, I'm sorry, 816 West 17th Street. Isn't it 816? I think it's 816. Yeah, 817 West 17th Street. Uh, this was a private rehab. We've been working with this owner for some time. He's complied with everything he was asked to do. Uh, all open permits and trade inspections have been complete. And he intends to move in, into this property last we spoke. High gloss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a single family dwelling? It is, yes. Some different construction techniques. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Do I have a motion to rescind the blight? I move. Second. Second. Rich? Yeah. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, the following, they're all race demos. Uh, the first one is 221 Locust Street. The next one is 342 East 22nd Street. And 505 East 24th Street. 623 East 11th Street. 715 West 4th Street. 729 East 24th Street. 812 East 23rd Street, 813 East 22nd Street, right behind that one, oh. 934 West 17th Street, 936 East 6th Street, 2315-2317 Wayne Street, and 2316 German Street have, have all completed, been demolished, created, and seated. Is it the same contractor that did all those? Um, I think all but one. Uh, I could double check on that. I think there's, there was one. Those are pretty nice. And this, I don't, I would, at Locust, if we would have had, there, there was a, a steep grade off the sidewalk and Jake had them kind of smooth it back so that we could prep it for 
you know, potential future development. So. Yeah, that it looks kinda, like a big lot. It kind of set and up. It, on is, a, it was originally three parcels combined oh. into one back in the day, the way the old neighborhood was. So it's, it's it could easily be two parcels. We're, we're looking at several different options for the property. So that one kind of sat up on a hill. They did a nice job grading it to match existing. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Um, do I have a motion to approve all um, the demos? I'll make a motion to rescind. I'll second that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, new business. Mike? Okay, first we have 427 East 8th Street. This one has been on fire a couple times. Um, the first fire fit, lit up the back of it pretty, pretty well. That was in April 7th of 2023. <coughs> Excuse me, and there was a recent fire on July 5th in the back again where they burnt the shed down. It's vacant, uninhabited. There are back taxes from 22 to 24 over $5,700. <coughs> Excuse me. The water has been off for non-payment since September of 21-23, and they owe over $2,400 in water, sewer, and garbage. The electric is off. This is in uh, another out-of-town owned property from Georgia. We have notices dating back, <coughs> excuse me, they've owned it since 2011. We have notices dating back, they've owned it since 2007. We have notices dating back to 2011, June of 11, July of 14, April of 16, September of 20, July, 20, July of 21, and a repair demo notice sent in March of 24. We had issues with this before it caught on fire, and then it caught on fire, and it's been sitting with no repairs or uh, general property maintenance being done. Who started the fires? I don't, I don't know the cause of the fires. Uh, Going in that, who has their hand raised? Can you see on the Zoom on the right? Is that Tony? Yes. Oh, okay. Sour. The principal. Yeah. He may be able to answer that. Can you hear us? Can you unmute yourself? I don't, yeah. That's one of the fire marshals, the chief fire inspector. All right. He was probably going to answer what the fuck cause of the fire was. Yeah. Is there a motion to declare it blighted? I'll move. Second? I'll second. Sorry. All in favor say aye. Yeah. Who's the aye. second? Okay. Next we have 727 East 24th Street. This, I think, was a start and stop rehabilitation project that has been worked has not been worked on in quite a while. The current owners owned it since March of 2013. We have a case started with him when he when when he first took possession in October of 2013. Notices sent in June of 23, February of this year, June of this year. The the this notice sent out in June is set to expire at the end of this month, where they will be cited if there's not compliance. Uh, it was posted uninhabitable February of 24 because we had we kicked uh, trespassers out of there and had to secure it. There was a repair demo order issued in July, uh, July 2nd of this month. There are back taxes owed from 21 to 24 over $8,000. The water's been off since August 13th of 2009, and the electric is off. It is vacant. There are some minor repairs started, and then it was just left. <coughs> Excuse me. It was just left abandoned and unattended to. We demolished a lot directly to the east of it, so it kind of stands out even more now as a sore thumb in the neighborhood. What are you going to do with the boat, Aaron? I don't know. <laughs> see if she floats, I guess. All right. Um, do I have a motion to blight? So, Aaron? Second? Yes. Flynn? She beat you. Yeah. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 
Okay, next up we have 1304 West 25th Street. This one is in a process of foreclosure, but it's another one where I think we have a bank just sitting on it. They started the foreclosure process, kept it in a previous owner's name, and they're just sitting on it. The previous owner, as well as the bank, has been notified, sent notices and pictures of, of the property and issues with the property. We think that car might have drove into that deck and then just been left there. Uh, that car's been sitting there for quite a while. The current owner has owned it since 2002, but again, we believe it to be in foreclosure proceedings with Wells Fargo. Uh, we have notices out in May of 19. There was two quality of life tickets issued in June and July of 19. In June of 2022, we were made aware of the foreclosure proceedings and notified Wells Fargo Bank and an order to correct was posted June of this year and also in June of this year another notice was sent to both the property owner and Wells Fargo the bank in the in foreclosure process July of this year a repair demo notice was issued to the property there are water liens over sixteen thousand dollars with water sewer garbage liens on this property the water's been off since June of 18. The taxes are current, so I think that's the one thing the bank is doing. But other than that, there's been no property maintenance to the property at all. I take it the neighbors are probably mowing that front. The, the one neighbor, I believe, to the east is mowing the front yard, but the grass, the, the grass in the back is still well overgrown. All right. Do I have a motion to Blake? Rich? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 And those are my properties this month. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mike. All right. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second, Aaron. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.